Hey, I'm Dusty, friends call me Moose, I'm the dude behind CameraTips.com, and in this video, I wanna share with you a really simple recipe for capturing sports outdoors in bright light with the Sony a6000. Now I'm gonna be running through the settings pretty quickly, so feel free to pause the video. I'll also include the settings down in the description below. Now, I know a lot of you are probably wondering about low light settings for sports and fast action. The good news is you can use these settings, but there is a big gotcha. The gotcha is when shooting in these situations, there is a lack of light and entry level zoom lenses have a very dim dark aperture, which restricts the amount of available light coming into the camera. Additionally, with sports, we need to use a fast shutter speed and that also reduces the amount of light coming into the camera. So the camera's only option at this point is to raise the ISO and it's gonna add a lot of grain, it's gonna reduce contrast, it's gonna make your photos look less vibrant and sharp. They're gonna look kind of dark and dingy. So the only way around it is to get a more powerful, brighter, faster zoom lens. And these types of lenses are very pricey. If you're dead set, maybe you're interested in becoming a sports photographer or you're a team photographer and you just have to get better photos in low light, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and link to some really popular lenses that will work well indoors and in low light. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the settings. The first thing that we wanna do is rotate our mode dial to the letter S. S stands for shutter priority mode. So in this mode, we'll be able to control the shutter speed by rotating this dial here. Now, if I rotate this dial to the left, I select a slower shutter speed. If I rotate the dial to the right, I select a faster shutter speed. A good shutter speed to start with is one over 1000. This is about fast enough to freeze most sports and most action. And if you do notice some subject blur as you're taking pictures, all you have to do is come back to this dial and increase the shutter speed a bit to help freeze that action. Now you might be wondering, why don't we just select the fastest possible shutter speed? Well, again, that brings us back to that problem I was talking about earlier, where the higher we go with that shutter speed, it's going to restrict the light coming into the camera, which is gonna force the camera to use a higher ISO, which is gonna kind of degrade the image quality. So we wanna use a shutter speed that is just ever so slightly fast enough for the types of subjects that we are shooting. For kids and maybe pets, you can actually go down to about one over 640. And then, like I said, a good medium point for baseball and football and soccer is around one over 1000. For other sports where they're swinging, like golf and things like that, you'll wanna even go a little bit higher than that. All right, so next what we wanna do is on the back of the camera, let's go ahead and locate the ISO button. And we're gonna set this to auto. This is gonna, again, allow the camera to select the aperture and the ISO for us, and then all we have to decide is the shutter speed. Next, we're gonna jump into the function menu just by pressing this FN button here. We're gonna come over to the focus mode, and we're gonna set this to AFC continuous. Next, we're gonna go back into the function menu, come over to focus area, and we're gonna set this to zone. And for now, I'm just gonna set it right in the middle. All right, let's go back to the function menu. We'll come over to the metering mode tab, and we're gonna set, make sure that this is set to multi. I'm gonna go back into the function menu one more time, go over to white balance. And for outdoor bright light situations, I would just leave it set to auto, but if there is some cloud cover or a little bit of shade on the field, then I would come down here and select the appropriate preset, either shade or cloudy. One more thing that I'd like to do is set our drive mode to continuous. So to do that, we're just gonna press the left-hand side of this control wheel. And inside this menu, we're gonna come down here to continuous shooting high. All right, so let me go ahead and show you how this all works. I'm gonna go ahead and point it here at a subject and you'll see kind of this frame. And as I half press the shutter, you'll see that there are a bunch of these green boxes and they stay inside the perimeter of this frame. This kind of helps us to identify where we wanna place the subject. It also helps if there are multiple people in the frame, we can kind of move the zone to wherever we want and the autofocus points are gonna stay within that zone. So to move the zone around, all we have to do is come back to the back of the camera here, press this button inside the control wheel, and then we can move that zone around. So if I wanted to move it over to the right or left, this allows us to do it. Now, let me go ahead and demonstrate how the continuous drive mode works. So I'm 
uh, continuously tracking my subject as it gets closer or farther away. As long as I hold that um, shutter button down halfway, it keeps that subject in focus. Once I'm ready and ready to capture the action, I'm gonna go ahead and press the shutter all the way down and hold it and you'll hear it rattle off a bunch of images there. So this is a good general setup for most fast action sports situations. If you're still trying to figure this camera out, maybe you're unsure of which settings to use, I actually just released a set of really simple cheat sheets for the Sony a6000 that show you the exact settings I use for really common scenarios like portraits, sports, landscapes, and more. You can kind of think of them like recipes. I'll show you the shooting mode, the exposure settings like aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. I'll also show you the autofocus modes I use depending on the subject or scene. So if you want to check those out, I'll put a link down in the description below. Until next time, thanks for watching. Catch you later.